I'm so excited. I've put together this slideshow for you to show you some of the basics and some little little tips I've been learning. I was I was on Clubhouse on the, some of the new um they're called town halls type of how to use Clubhouse in Clubhouse. So I'm going to show you how to find those. And I was on at like two o'clock this morning and they were telling me tips. And as I'm doing this, I'm learning tips and putting them in too, because Clubhouse is constantly changing. They have not even rolled out all the stuff they're going to use. They have not even rolled out how to monetize it. They haven't rolled out all the different things. I mean, you see how much Instagram has changed over the years and Facebook. Clubhouse is just going fast with their upgrades. And one minute you can't have a club, next minute everybody's got a club. So we're going to talk about clubs and rooms, um, how to do your profile. I really want to make sure you guys get a handle on it because I have been meeting, I want to say the coolest or neatest people, that's not even a great enough word for it, uh, but collaborators in this room, people that are People would have never been able to meet on just from social media because you'll comment on their things, but they're never going to comment back on these. You're on Clubhouse. You're like in the room with them. They bring you up to the stage sometimes, depending on the room. Small rooms get great, you know, uh, conversation. And there can be people in small rooms that have, you know, 500,000 followers. And there's somebody in your industry that you've always wanted to talk to or that you can DM on Instagram and they they uh, do a collaboration with you or they look at your things. Um, I met a woman who's going to be helping me with my smart talk show and now taking it onto the real television or on OTT. And I met her in a, in a, in a clubhouse room and you DM them, you, have, you start the conversation in Instagram or Twitter, but I heard Instagram is being a little funny about if they see the word clubhouse in a DM too much because clubhouse doesn't have a way for you to direct message people or talk to people. You can't type things in in clubhouse. So you have to use Instagram or Twitter to DM them, or you can put in your email. But if you do it on Instagram, I've heard Instagram's getting a little touchy and some kind of alerts are kind of going on for if you put clubhouse in DMs. So let's go ahead and get started on clubhouse. 101 with your Q&A. So while I'm live, I'm watching my feed so I can take your questions. All right, here we go. I'm gonna show you some of the pages on Clubhouse. If you've seen this, you got some questions, go ahead, type it in, because I'm gonna watch, watch you in here. All right, Clubhouse is amazing. You can only be used on iPhones right now. My cheat though is I have it on an iPad. So I got an iPad. You can, I got one for like $2.99 because I'm an Android user. They will open up for Android probably sometime soon because Clubhouse is just kicking butt now. So, but I got an iPad. I got a brand new for $2.99 on Amazon, but you can also get refurbished ones for like $125, things like that. So find a way or make a way, get on Clubhouse. And that's what I did. So you have this, these pages. These don't come up together. They'll come up one at a time, but I want to show them to you. If you notice over here, it says explore. You can find people here. And then if you hit this show more people, it'll show more people. See this drop down? That's what you'll see right here, okay? So this will go to here. But when you're first looking at this and you first sign up, it's gonna give you the option to click on things that interest you, okay? So you can click, and you can click on all of them, it's fine. So you can click, you know, faith, arts, life, click on them and they're gonna open up and give you a little bit more information about them. Tech, you gotta join the one Hustle. Hustle is great, it's all about Clubhouse. In this Hustle one, it, it has all the Clubhouse town halls, Clubhouse tutorials, and Pretty much 24 seven, you can find a clubhouse room on people talking about clubhouse, how to use it, do's and don'ts, how to moderate. So it's great. So just know there's teaching inside clubhouse, but you can mark any of these world affairs, identity, languages, sports, places. So have fun and my travel agents, look places, such good stuff in here, okay? But remember, the more you plug into this, the more your notifications are gonna go off and Oh, that's one thing I didn't put on here, which I should have. You want to make sure your notifications are on, but I'm sure I'll see a tab in here and I'll show you. All right. So next, any questions on that? Okay. I found out last night at 2 a.m. They were talking about this in a clubhouse room. One thing that was bothering me, there's no way to find out who's got a room tomorrow at noon. You know, there's nothing like in advance, but they told us of this www.roomsofclubhouse.com. So here it is, write this down, roomsofclubhouse.com, where you can find out when rooms are going live. I have not even tootled around on it yet because it was this 
early this morning when I found out about it. So write this down, roomsofclubhouse.com. Go have fun on it, play on it. You don't need an iPhone for that. It'll come up on any desktop, laptop, doesn't matter. And uh, you can see in advance what rooms are there. I mean, this is so perfect. Okay, you're gonna hear things like the ro rooms, the hallway, and a club. So let me show you the difference in this. The hallway is something that comes up. You'll see this, it's the white background. You'll see some, some um, suggestions for you. And this is room suggestions. This is what's going on now. This is a room going on right now under a club. All right, so let me show you what this means. In the hallway, if you scroll up on this, it'll show you lots of rooms. This one's Entrepreneur Millionaire Secrets, and they're having a room called Marketing, Branding, and Business. So you can scroll the hallway. So think of the hallway like you're in a convention, and you're running, well, roaming around the hallway, and you're looking at different convention room door signs, and it says what is being taught or talked about in that room. So that's the hallway. The rooms are anybody can start a room at the bottom of every page, pretty much. It'll give you the option, let me move this out of here, to start a room. See this, you can start a room at any time. And the fun thing is you can start a private room. So a private phone call with somebody too. So you can do start a room, click my name, and we can be talking on Clubhouse and not even using the phone. So that's, that's another option. All right, so in the hallway, you'll have some suggestions on where they think you should go later on today. These are future ones, so that's a good way to find out what's happening later. Uh, it'll show you that their host, if it's a club, a club, think of a club as a Facebook group. Okay. So you have a Facebook group, like I'm doing profit from being you now, and I'm doing a room on how to use clubhouse. Does that make sense? Let me know if this is making sense. All right. So I'm just showing you the hallway. This is basic 101 inside clubhouse, the hallway. You'll see it as you click this, you can find search and you'll see arrows here. See where my cursor is? You'll see arrows, you'll be clicking here, clicking search, and it'll take you page to page. It's really easy on that part. All right, so room suggestions. This room happens to be hosted by a club. Their club, see the greenhouse? You see a greenhouse, that means it's a club, and the room they're hosting today is marketing, branding, business. This is everybody in the room that's showing up. If there's thousands, they're not all gonna show up, but that's the beginning of them. And then if you see this little, three dots right there, it I means these people are on the stage with a microphone. You can go in as a bug on the wall without a microphone, which is usually how you enter in. And then you can either raise your hand uh, to get the microphone and be on stage, or you can be called up. And then I'll show you more about that in a few minutes. So don't worry, we'll get to that. All right, so the room title and the room attendees. And then if you go over to, let me move my little face over here. This, so I want you to look at this. At the top of your hallway, I've been watching, make sure you're getting this. The top of the hallway, you'll see these little icons. These are important, so I'm gonna show you what they are. All right, this little envelope with a little star right there, click on that and you will see this page. And it'll say you have eight invites, three invites, no invites. When you're new, you get, I think, three invites. I'm sure that'll change as it gets bigger and they might end up give you 20 invites for all I know. Uh, and someday it might not be invites at all, so who knows? But for today, it is your invite right there. So click on it. It'll say, who's a great potential for Clubhouse? You'll get credit for the invite on their profile. And I'll show you that credit in the next page, okay? It also says we're iPhone only right now, but remember you can use an iPad. My Mac computer doesn't work. My laptop didn't work, an iPad. All right, then it will say, send up, I sent three pending invites that have not responded yet. And I believe they're Android users. Then down here, if you're, it'll connect to your contacts if you hit allow and your contacts will come up. And it'll tell you people like my friend, Holly Furfer, she's got already 142 friends in Clubhouse. So I can click invite because I'm like, well, she's got a bunch of people on Clubhouse. She should be here and I'll click invite and she'll get an invitation. So that's the invitation. So think of the envelope as an RSVP, an invitation in the mail. Okay. Now I'm going to go through these. I might as well go through these now while I'm here, then I'm going to go back. All right. Now this icon right here is a calendar. It looks like a calendar, right? All right. Remember I showed you who was in the room before? If you scroll down, it'll tell you how many people are in the room and then how many people have the microphone. Keep moving my little face around here. Everybody seeing this? Good, good, good. Okay. So in this, this is your calendar. If you click calendar, 
the first thing will come up, it'll say upcoming for you. So there is a way to find out what's coming up like today, but I love that rooms at Clubhouse uh, for finding out future. Like if you don't want to scroll through this, there's thousands of rooms, but I'll never get to what's happening Monday or Tuesday, just not enough time to scroll through them all. So that special rooms on Clubhouse will give you future things. This one will give you what's coming up, just start scrolling, okay? So upcoming for you, this one on this day, particular day, it had mystery networking. Notice how these emojis, they're very popular in Clubhouse. You don't wanna use emojis. Even the billionaires, very professional, are all using emojis. So uh, use emojis and I'll show you some examples in just a, a couple more pages. But this will tell me, you know, who's monitoring it. Think of monitors as who's hosting it, the, the event host, and they're called in Clubhouse moderators. Okay, making sure you're all seeing this. Uh, this one says, ask me anything, sales, marketing, PR, and entrepreneurship. It's so fun. These topics are great, and they're customized more to me because I put in my interest in the beginning. Don't forget about that. And the more people that you like, that do what you do, that you're interested in, if you really want to streamline this and niche this down, only like follow groups and follow people that are people you really want to do business with or collaborate with or in your niche, because then in this hallway over here to the left, that's what'll what will um, um, generate that. Like your, like think of your Instagram feed. It shows you what you want to see after it starts seeing who you click on, who you like, who you comment on. Clubhouse is the same way. So it'll start feeding you things that it thinks you, you like. So be careful, you know, what you like. <laughs> All right, and then if you hit this toggle, this little toggle here, hit it, it's gonna give you my events. That'll only show up if you're personally hosting an event. Remember in Clubhouse, the events are called rooms, okay? The groups are called clubs. Hope that makes sense. Let me know if you're getting this. Give me a thumbs up if you're following along so far, if you have questions. All right, under my events, notice on February 27th, on that Saturday, I had two events I was moderating and hosting. I got it. I did one with Renee North, the beautiful one from Atlanta. You definitely want to do them with people. Clubhouse is not a place to be solo. You want to be in collaboration. Some of the coolest people and some of the biggest people in business and in real estate and in the social media and in TV, all these places, all monitor rooms together. It's, you know, you've got to watch for people coming in the room, letting them in. You want to have more people on there and bring in their fans, bring in their people. And not always bigger is better. Remember the smaller rooms really do great, great work. And I met the really greatest people in small rooms, but partner with people. Don't try just to do, do them alone. You want to partner. It's the best part of this. Then you notice at two o'clock, I partnered with Gigi and Dr. Angelica and some other one of Bernadette, other ladies. And we did being joyful in life and business. And underneath there, it'll give you a place to put what it's about and be very specific, be very to the point, not a time to give a long, long paragraph, but it does limit you. But remember, you want good SEO search words like uh, things people, if it's health or fitness or diet, you know, put in your keywords for your industry. So people, if they're searching, because remember back over here to the left, this search button, you can search things that are of your industry. Did you know you can search when it goes to people? Did I show you people? Where did I show you where to search for people? I'll show you where to search for people in a second. Um, and you can search like eWomen Network and anybody that has eWomen Network in their profile, it'll come up. You can search what women want, what women want networking and everybody that has what women want networking in their profile, it'll show them. So you'll see me and Catherine and Judy, you'll see um, everybody in there. It's so cool. You can put in there any any company you're, you belong to. You can put in Abwa, Nabo. Um, I can put in my Emmys or Natus and it'll show people that have that in their profile. So be really you know, aware of what you put in your profile, how you want people to find you. So when they search for speaker, they search for TEDx speaker, put those in the profile because I'll show you the search button is like gold and you will come up. The next one over here is this little bell, this little alarm. And you'll see alerts when you first start, you won't see many, but I had 15 alerts yesterday. So open this up and let me show you what it'll happen. It'll show activity, which means it, an alert is somebody wants me to join a club. Somebody just joined. So uh, Facebook, a Facebook clubhouse will tell me, you know, I could follow them. So I click the alarm right here in my hallway. See my hallway. This is telling me the number of people in the room, number of people on stage. This starter room, you'll see all the time. Doesn't mean you have to start one, but that's how you'll start your own room anytime you want. You don't even have to pre-plan it. You can just start one right now. Okay, no questions. 
Okay, the activity now, it's showing me these people have invited me to join their clubs, okay? I don't join every single club I get invited to. This goes on and on. I wanna be strategic on the clubs I join because I wanna be active and participate in these clubs. I don't wanna just join them all. So that's a little, that's my strategy. You can do it however you want, but I wanna be strategic. So in this activity right here, it's telling me these people want me to join their clubs. This person though, Clubhouse is saying, uh, Jennifer Samuel Chance just signed up for Clubhouse. Follow them. I can click yes to follow or not yet. Thank you. So that's my activity page. You'll see yours will come up too. Also, if you hit join the club, you'll get this notice that'll say, and think about this, if you have a club, it'll do this to everybody that joins, which is a good thing. It helps them recommend other people to join the club. So let's say I joined this multimedia personalities and community. It was brand new when I started, like 10 members. And when I click join, it says nominate members. So when I click on that, it'll show me the people in Clubhouse that I know, that I follow, that I'm friends with, and allow me to nominate other people I think would be good for this club. And again, think on Clubhouse strategically. For this multimedia one, I would recommend people that I know are in media. I'm not gonna put just everybody that I know that's in health and fitness or other things. So I try to be very strategic in being in the right places, the right people are there, having the conversation I wanna talk about. So that makes it really more niche, than other platforms and I love that. So, you know, you can walk into a room and have everybody in there that's interested in that. And as you look at people's profile, you'll see they're probably in that industry as well. It's not a rule. I mean, you can do anything you want and join all sorts, but I like doing that. So I'm really kind of strategic when I join groups, I bring others in that I think would enjoy that particular topic. And I join lots of different topics. I do join the health ones and mindfulness and all of that as well. Okay, so that's your activity. When you're in Clubhouse and I'm in a room, this is really, really important. So I clicked on to join this room. This is the room I was listening to this morning at 2 a.m. They had already been on for seven hours. You do not have to be on the room. You can leave quietly. See this? You can leave quietly at any time. When you come in, you come in quietly. You don't get announced. Don't get put up on the stage when you enter in. You enter in quietly with no mic. So you're fine. You could have chaos going on in your house. You could be lying in bed with the TV on. It doesn't matter. So, but when you want to leave, you can just leave quietly. So this room I was on while I was doing the slideshow because I like to have it on. It's kind of like having the radio on for me. And it said, what I wish I knew when I started on Clubhouse. And this is why I was learning some fun extra tips last night. So notice though, this is the room in the bold. See this little green house right there? That means it is part of a club. Remember what I said? So this is Clubhouse Undercover. So you can search for that club and follow it. You do have to wait to get an invitation to join it, but you can follow all the clubs you want. So the way you know, oh, this is a good, good club. I wanna know more about when they come up because I really wanna learn Clubhouse or I really wanna learn more about uh, mindfulness, success, social media, real estate, whatever it is, you can click on these, you can click right here, click on the club, because it's got a house, clubhouse, see, and follow it. And then it, when they open up rooms, you'll be alerted. This one was this one. Now, when you're in the room, when you're in any room, you'll notice people have these microphones, okay? Notice how they're red lined out, which means they're muted. Anytime you're given the microphone, make sure you hit the mute button, which you'll see down here. You, when you have the mic, you'll have a microphone down here. See where my cursor is? And you just click on it and it'll mute. But how you can tell who's talking is this gentleman right here is talking. See this faded out circle and he doesn't have a microphone, which means he is talking right now. And that will flash off and on as he speaks, okay? So the green right here, see all these greens? That means they are the moderator of the group, that they are able to bring people on the stage, put people back in the audience. They've got their hand on the triggers. And that's always good to know who the, they are. I always, you can click on their profile, click on their picture, see their profile, because you know they're probably a leader in this industry, whatever the industry is, and you can follow them there if you'd like. But I wanted you to see that this means they're talking. So sometimes somebody's talking and you don't know who it is. You gotta scroll up to see which ones are on the stage, which one that does not have a microphone that has this thing flashing. That means that's the one talking. All right, when I click on him, here it is. I click on him, it'll show me his profile. So while he's talking, you can click all you want on everybody in the room. So when you're in the room, you can click on anybody that's talking and anybody even who's not talking, click on their faces and you will see their profile snippet. Now this is important. 
You ready for this? It's not going to show me the whole profile. So when you're in a room, people can click on your face and it's going to show what you want them to see. But the first three lines are critical for the SEO search and for what people see first. So make sure your first three lines here, he's got two, he's got the emojis, are right here. Okay, you can have another line, it'll show up right? And I'll show you mine as well. So this is Billy. He's got 12,000 followers. He's following a thousand. I wasn't following him when we started, but I ended up following after we were done because he was really informative about Clubhouse. But if I click view full profile, the whole profile will come up and I can scroll through while I'm still listening to the room. So none of those activities boot you out. Okay. So have fun with that. And the next thing over here, see these three dots on the profile at any time. If you click that, you can block someone, report an incident, or just cancel out. So it is user-friendly for if anybody gets out of hand. And I've heard there has been some inc incidents. I haven't had any, but just know you've got your little safety guard right there if anybody gets out of hand. Okay, so the taupe circle right here means they're talking. And they have no mic, so look around for the one that doesn't have the mic. That means that's the one talking. A fun little trick is if you only if you have the microphone and you're on the stage, you'll see a microphone down here. I'm sure one of my pages will show that. I'm sorry I couldn't do a live on my desktop because it won't let me. It's not a um, iPad here, and my iPad wouldn't let me do Zoom live to Facebook. So I had some technical issues, so I made a slideshow presentation. But just know you'll see a microphone like this down here. I'm over here in the left corner, if you can see me, okay? And if you have the microphone and you're on stage, please be muted, mute yourself, because they don't always mute you as you come on stage. And then when it's your turn, you'll unmute just by simply tapping the microphone that'll be here. But if you tap the microphone off and on real fast, that means you're applauding. So tap, tap, tap on that microphone, it'll go on and off, that means you're applauding, okay? A little fun trick. All right, then notice that the speakers Faces, images are larger than the ones that are in the audience. And the first people in the audience, you'll notice it'll say, these are the ones followed by the speakers. And then underneath that will be, you'll say, and everyone else. <laughs> so, but they're, so these are medium size and then everyone else I think are a little, little, might be smaller in size. But I think those are all probably the same size, but they will show you who's being followed by the speaker. And why is that important? Because if the speakers are leaders in an industry that you're interested in, go to the ones that the speakers follow. You'd wanna know who does Les Brown follow? Or who does Forbes Riley follow? Or who does uh, you know, Elon Musk follow? You know, whoever it is you're, you're in there, Richard Branson, whatever. These people, not all of the speakers are following them, but there are at least one speaker moderator that is following that person. So you can click on these people, these other people in the room first, because they'll come up at the top of the list and click on them, see if there's somebody you'd be interested in following as well. It also, if I'm doing them, let's just bring it down to it's not famous people, it's somebody you know and you 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 follow and so maybe is a mentor of yours. So let's say I'm doing a room and you want to see who, who I'm following that's in the room. It'll say that if I'm doing a room with Nita or if I'm doing a room with Catherine Marshall or Renee Knorr, anybody that we follow, even if it's only one of us and not all of us, it'll show up and follow by the speaker. So you can click on knowing that one of us, the moderators, one of us is following them. So they might be worth you following as well. All right, I use my profile as an example. I've only been on like a month and a half. I don't have a big amount of followers, but I've been really, you know, on the on the platform. I don't get sucked down the rabbit hole. I'm not on it like seven hours a day. I just, that's not where I want to go with Clubhouse. I don't want to get sucked into this and where it's like all consuming. And trust me, there's people on here that you see have, you know, the 10,000 10, or 20,000 or whatever, and they'll talk about them or they're on this, they're really working this. And sometimes they have this on like 24 seven for 20 days at a time. You don't have to do that to gain a big following. You, you, you will be strategic and gain followers, collaborate and hosting rooms, and then getting your club will help you build your following from everything that I've learned so far. So don't worry about all the followers yet. Get in rooms and engage. You can have some great results like I've already had without thousands and thousands of followers because I'm still new at this, but you'll get the hang of this real quick, I promise you. So on your profile, I wanted to kind of show you just a little bit of the layout. Look at different people that are in your industry to kind of follow along. You can do these in notes and then copy and paste it into Clubhouse. That's the only way you can change the fonts and do some fancy things. But all these emojis that I did are right there inside Clubhouse. I did them right on my iPad. It was really, really simple, but this is the generic font you'll get unless you do it outside on a notepad and then copy it in and you can do that.
So it'll tell you, it'll give you your name, whatever you signed up as, your followers, who you're following. Now here's the top three, and I've changed this probably 25 times. The top three things up here is what people see first. It's what comes up first in the search if somebody's trying to find me. What do I want to be known first? So my first thing is Emmy award-winning TV show host, producer, professional TV show host, keynote speaker, TEDx speaker this year, uh, success coach for women over 40. And then I get down into, I'm a clubhouse moderator now. So if somebody's looking for a clubhouse moderator, they'll click that in the search engine. I'll come up with a name somewhere in their search. I'm a professional host. I'll change this. I'll update this. I'm going to play around with this and see, and you can do the same thing. But if you're a like Catherine Marshall is virtual wealth online. She might put in there a virtual event coach, uh, social media. Uh, Bernadette does social media. She'll put social media expert, Instagram expert. Put what you are an expert in, what you want first up there. Now I wanted to show you, since I can't be live on this and scroll live, just use your finger and you'll just scroll up. I'm going to show you what will happen. There's a, you can put as much in here as you want, I believe. I don't think it limits you. So I put these little emojis, more about what I do, founder, CEO, celebritize. Here's my coaching business. And then down here, it's my celebrity expert um, that I am. And right here, you can put anything you want. It won't be a live link. You can put your email address. You can put your websites. They just won't be live links. I'll show you at the end of this. The only two live links so far Clubhouse gives you is twi your Twitter handle and your Instagram handle. And that's the way you will reach out to people to say, I saw you, I saw I was in your room the other day or to this morning. I loved it. I want to reach out to you because you said such and such. And you want to reach out to people. That's where the magic happens, not just on Clubhouse, but by even while you're in the room, going over to their direct message on Instagram and introducing yourself and saying, I love what you just said about such and such. I'd like to do this with you or that with you. They're gonna kind of alert you. Go over to my DM and put in a free book and I'll send you my free book or put in, collaborate on this and you'll do what they tell you to do, which is go over there and introduce yourself. You'll get the hang of that too. All right, so you can put, I put in my Facebook group, this Prop From Being You group. Keep scrolling in here, I have a contact. And again, I've changed the profile probably 25 times as I got to know it and I went to clubhouse rooms and learned the, the secret sauces. So you can put a contact me, they have a little envelope I used, a contact me for support, success coaching, or to discuss potential collaborations. And I put my email there. I put more about my shows I do. I put my mantra. People do want to get to know about you. So further down, put you know your hobbies, your interests. They love getting to know the you, which is perfect for me. The Y-O-U. What do you like? What are your interests? What are your hobbies? They love that. But put it further down. So then the most important things pop up first in searches. And I put that I love, you know, of course, nonprofits. Still scrolling. I'm going to show you a little trick now. All right, still scrolling to the very bottom. It's going to say who nominated you. So I had probably 15 invites. And when I went to join Clubhouse, it just automatically connected me to Ziz, who's a wonderful NFL, a former NFL player. And he had been at one of my events, gosh, years ago. We reconnected. It was so great. So that was fun. He will be there forever now. And whoever you give an invite to and they accept your invitation, you'll be at the bottom of their page on their homepage forever now as well. It shows who nominated them for Clubhouse. And if I think it's uh, like a rotating, if somebody's getting a whole bunch of invites and you're one of them, like I, like I said, I had about 15 invites I, and you know, people I really knew well, you know, the Amy Walkers and all these really, these people, crickets and everybody that is really in my world were all inviting me. But when I went to do it, Ziz came up and I hadn't talked to Ziz in years. So, but it was neat. It was meant to be that we reconnected. So that's, that's kind of fun. So now you'll show up on people you invite that, that, accept the invitation and then come in. But if you don't, and and you know you invite that person, don't fret, it's nothing, they didn't reject you. It's the algorithms just, might just have picked the last person that invited them. Cause there's nothing to stop 10 people from inviting the same person to club out. So it might either be the first one that invited them or the last one, who knows? So just invite people, just get on it. It's wonderful. All right, so I wanna show you the very bottom. Here's that Twitter and Instagram. There'll be a place for you when you sign up and you set up, for you to put those in there. If you don't want people going to Twitter because that's you don't check it, you don't interact there, then don't put it. You don't have to put Twitter or vice versa. You don't have to put Instagram, but those are your only two options to engage with people and have conversation. So you want to do that off the platform. All right, now once you notice too, I made these in Canva. This, 
You'll notice, you'll notice backgrounds that you like. Yellow pops out, yellow backgrounds show up. You'll see people with all sorts of interesting pictures, trust me. But you remember people are watching, looking at this on a phone. So it's very tiny and small. So you want it to pop out best you can. You can make these on Canva if you want to get the little circle, put little things on them. I'm sure there'll be you know apps for that coming up as well, but just make sure it's clear. They can see you and it's what you want to represent. And here's some that I had done in the past. You know, I had done this one, I think first, but it wasn't really showing up, but I got called to the stage a lot. Then I tried this one over here, me kissing the Emmy because I like to show my personality and it was okay. But then I noticed when I was scrolling through what caught my eye, the ones that caught my eye was with the one with the yellow background. It just popped when I was using my phone, you know, and something small. Remember people are watching this on their phone mostly. So you don't want a lot going on in your picture where it's tiny. So I just went to a yellow background with my Emmy. People call me the stage. It can be with you having to do like if you're in bodybuilding, it can be you. I see bodybuilders, you know, winning their, their, their trophies. They're in their full length. You can see their fitness in their fitness. You can see them in the gym. You see them, you know, show you is, is great. Some people are just smelling a flower and it's just a nice, you know, background. It just, you'll get the hang of what you like and how you want to show up, but that's what it looked like here versus this. This one's what I have now. You can change it at any time. It's perfectly fine. All right, on here too, at the very bottom of the page, not only will you see the Instagram and the Twitter active links, You'll see who nominated you, who brought you in. And then the very bottom, these are the clubs that I'm a member of. So what'll show on yours is the clubs that you're a member of. So remember, everybody can see them right on the bottom. So don't join anything that you don't want people to see. And I say that because last night or two o'clock this morning, they were talking about some of the after hour uh, clubs that are very adult, let's just say. And one, one girl popped in, she said, she, would, she popped in the wrong room. She clicked the wrong thing by accident. And she popped in this room that was like really adult conversation. She goes, oh my gosh. And she left real quick. She goes, I hope my boss or somebody wasn't on that. Then she said, hmm, well, my boss was. That'd be a little awkward. <laughs> so just know people can see which ones you're a member of. And what you'll do is you'll see the first ones here. And I put these arrows here, scroll over, just you know, use your fingers, scroll on over and you'll see all of them are all right there. Clubs I'm a member of. And you can click on those and you can follow until you get the invites. You can follow clubs. Once you follow them, then you'll you might see an invite coming in later. Okay. When you go to somebody's profile as well, you're going to see these. I'm going to use somebody else's instead of mine. You'll see the bell, the follow, and this little guy right here. So, oh, let's look on the bottom of this. I know, noticed this person. She was moderating a group I was in, Natasha. She has 6,000 followers. She was really cool. And now she comes up a lot in my feed. She's great. And I noticed when I went down to the bottom, she was nominated in by the shark, Damon John. I thought it was neat. She was, she was nominated by the shark. So I want to follow her because I love everything to do with uh, Shark Tank. So that was somebody I'll follow. So when you click this follow, it'll give you the option to always, sometimes, or never. Just know that when you click always, every time they enter a room or start a room, you're going to be notified. You can turn your sound off, your notification sound off on your phone if that gets to be too much dinging. But I want to know when certain people go in the room all the time and I turn my notification sound off on my iPad so it doesn't bother me. So you can turn this on and off as you like, but on people I really want to make sure when they're in a room, I want to know about it. I can't always enter, but I want to know, I'll click always. You also have the option, now notice that'll be really dark blue if it's always, or you can hit sometimes, which means it'll be a see-through. It won't be solid blue, it'll be see-through. That means you follow this person. And sometimes when she goes in rooms and starts, it will notify you, okay? And then this thing right here, this little star looking thing right here, click on that and it will give you suggestions of other people like that person for you to follow as well. So it gives you suggestions. You like, you know, like here, I like Marissa, it shows other people like her for some reason, whatever the algorithms are. She's got similar uh, SEO search words in there. Okay, that's how you do that. So follow, oh, follow always, follow sometimes. And then who else like this? So if you like a shark and you're following the shark tank, who else does that to leader like in business like that? It'll show, so just click there. Okay, you'll notice celebrities are there, but not all just Hollywood celebrities. Grant Cardone and Elon Musk are huge on Clubhouse and Elon Musk rooms fill up, shut down all the time and people start overflow rooms, which means all they're doing is they have it, they got in, they're on their phone and they're letting another device 
let you listen in. It's called an overflow room because they get so filled up. But it just depends on what you like. You don't have to go into the ones that have this guy, Grant Cardone in, in real estate. He's got, he's star of undercover billionaire, investor, real estate, founder of the 10X movement. He's amazing. Um, you don't have to follow them if it's not somebody that you want to, you know, know when they do things. But it's really interesting rooms. The coolest people go in there and he's got almost 500,000 followers. He probably has more than that now when I took this picture. Notice this guy has a fun little frame on his as well and all these emojis. But notice at the bottom of Grant Cardone's right here. See when I was talking about DM me? A lot, a lot of people will tell you exactly what to do in their Instagram feed. So you don't have to guesswork. He says, DM the word challenge. DM means go over to his Instagram. DM the word challenge for the free five-day exclusive coaching with me starts Sunday. So that'll constantly change. So people will tell you what to do sometimes in their DM. So there's not a guesswork. Celebrities are on there. Tiffany Haddish, she's in rooms all the time and it's fun. And my friend was just talking to her in a room because yeah, they when you're up at the mic, they're hearing you. So whoever you, you know, is your mentor, whoever is in, you know, you'd love to collaborate with or always wanted to interview if you're a talk show host, they're in there, get in there, get in the rooms, get seen, get heard and listen in, listen in. So this is her whole profile. It's all it says. She's a comedian, wants the best for her people. Here's her Twitter. Here's her Instagram. And this is the person that brought her in. And then her groups. There's nothing in between that. But she's Tiffany Haddish. You know her. You either know her or you don't, right? <laughs> and then over here, uh, a woman, um, Alexa, 16,000 followers and founder of Women Empowered. WEX, professional speaker. So I just wanted you to see kind of what people are putting in here. Some use a lot of emojis. Some use very, you know, just a few make it look with your brand, stay in brand, okay? This is fun. Okay, so now when you're in a room, some people are afraid to go into a room because they didn't know what they were gonna expect in there. So let me take out all the mystery. You're in a room. I was in a room over here, as you can see, there's my picture with Les Brown. He came up, I wasn't following him at the time yet, but probably because of speaker is in my profile, it alerted me that I may like um, Les Brown on what's stopping you from using your voice. And I put in there that I like events and the hustle group. So hustle group is all about business and fun stuff like that. So they get, when I came up, um, I raised my hand. Here's your, here's the microphone right here that I can flash on and off to applaud. So when I came up to the, to the room, uh, somebody gave me the mic in this, wanted me to speak. They probably, again, saw the Emmy. They might see something in your picture they like, and they want to bring you up. They can do that. And when they do that, here's what'll happen. So you're not afraid to go into a room thinking you're going to automatically have to speak. So here it is, it'll, uh, it'll um, right here, it'll say this person has invited you to join as a speaker, getting on the stage. Can't, but thanks, and that's very polite. And they see that message. So when I invite people to speak and they can't, it's not like they're rejecting me. It says can't now, but thanks. Or you can click join as a speaker, which will bring you up over here to the left side as a speaker and give you the microphone. Please make sure you immediately mute your mic. Okay, because otherwise they can hear the background. A lot of moderators forget to put in uh, mute the mic as they enter. So be, be considerate, mute the mic right away until they call on you. So um, in here, here's the microphone. Here's how to get the speaker. Now, what will happen is top half alerts and it'll look like this. It says, Peter so-and-so started a room to talk about what happened in the other room. Uh, join them. It'll say, you know, what women were networking and started a room go to the room or join them. If you click go to the room, it'll automatically take you out of the room you're in and into the new room. So if you're done with this room and somebody better or more interesting comes along that you really want to get on, get in on, you press go to the room. But no, they'll they'll come down and they'll leave kind of quick, this green. So read it real fast when it comes up because if you want to jump in, hit go to the room. Um, it'll be in your hallway though if you do miss that alert, it's, it's all right. And just hit dismiss if you don't wanna leave the room and you're happy where you are. This room will be in your hallway to check for later. Does that make sense? Now, in rooms, remember I told you, this is a room I did with Renee Nora, the beautiful one. And she actually did it under her club, the Sisterhood of Influential Entrepreneurs. That little green one means it's under a club. So you can click on it, you can follow the club. I already told you about that. And then the name of this room, is 100 Global Women Fashion in Finance, Media, and Wellness. So we were having a wonderful conversation. Catherine came in, chimed in, my friends. So these are the ones that are talking. The green means they're moderators. So you can do this, ladies and gentlemen. You can so do this. So this room was a room only, no club affiliate. See over here, the less brown one all the way to your left. This one that I did with Renee was a room underneath her umbrella of her club. 
either way is fine. If you have a club, do all your rooms under your club that fit the topic. While you're in a room, you might get a notice to join another room. You can dismiss or leave and go to that room anytime. It does not send off a bell, she's leaving. You leave quietly, no matter anytime you leave room, you leave quietly. All right, and or you can get the mic right here. You can get the mic by raising your hand, look down to the second one to the left, this one where me and Renee are in, all the way to the bottom. See that hand right here? Look at the bottom of the screen. If you click that, it'll raise your hand. It means you have a question or a comment. Sometimes you'll get a room and it'll say the moderators have turned off the raise hand option. And that's fine, it just means right now, they're not taking any more up to the stage. Doesn't mean in five minutes they won't start again. Uh, so just you can just keep trying if you'd like to, okay? So raise your hand. This plus sign down here, if you look down here, see this red line all the way down here? This plus sign is when you click on to tag people, but it's called ping. In Clubhouse, it's called ping. Ping friends to come into the room. If you do too many too fast, Clubhouse will stop you. I learned that the hard way. But then wait five minutes and let you invite more again. So don't think it's they're cutting off the entire day. It's just for a few minutes, stop inviting, pinging people and come back in a few more minutes. But hit the plus button and it'll bring up the people's profile faces and you can just click on their faces and it'll say invited, invited, invited. If their notifications are off, it'll let you know. So just keep on moving. You'll see that's kind of self-explanatory. And then this is your microphone right there. And you'll only see it if you're on the stage with, with the microphone. Otherwise you won't see that microphone down there. Now on this too, uh, down at the very bottom, remember I showed you your clubs. All right, at the very end of your clubs is this plus sign. I put an error to it. If you want to add your own club, it used to be you had to submit for it and wait months to maybe get approved. Now they've opened it up to everyone. They do just ask that you have been on it and active for a while. You know, even if it's just like a week or two, you've, you've been in some rooms, you've moderated. Yeah, I don't think you have to, but you should do that. I, I think you'll get an alert for that. So you don't want to have the, the party hat on. Oh, I didn't even share the party hats. If you see a party hat, means somebody is still their first week in Clubhouse. And the party hat, look over at my picture to the left, there'll be a little party hat emoji right here. And it means person's only been in Clubhouse. It's their first seven days. So you don't want to start a club in your first seven days or even like your first month. I'd say get the hang of it, get to know it and start a club with, you know, some of your collaborators, some of your partners. And because it does take work. You don't want to just open up clubs and just leave them. You need to work them. You need to have a specific time every single week. Some people do it every single day. Some people do it two or three times a week. Just make sure whatever you commit to, you stick to it because people expect it and they want you. So they're looking for you. So show up and be there on a consistent basis. So unless you're ready to do that commitment, don't start a club yet. Unless you want to start a club with several other people and then you guys can share the responsibility. So when you click that plus sign down here, it's going to give you the tab to start a new club and it'll let you um, have all these options, your topic, your description. This says allow followers, which means they don't have to join it, but they can follow just like a Facebook business page or even a group. They can follow it, but they're not necessarily a member. Um, this one also lets members start a room. If you do that, that means let's say you let me start a room in your club. That means I can start any room I want underneath the umbrella of your room. So only allow that. Like I wouldn't allow that. But if you want, that means anybody can start a room under your club. Now, maybe there's a good algorithm for that. So maybe later on I'll do that. But for now, I'm going to kind of keep a little more, you know, in home for now. But that means any member can start a, start a room under your club name. So you got to make sure that, you know, they represent you well. So you know, tell me your thoughts on that. How new is it? My first time hearing of it through you. Right? Okay, great. Yes, Clubhouse. Oh my gosh. Where, uh, I'm going to put a link here to the to the uh, Smart Talk show I just did with Mark and Melissa, and there's like 4 million downloads a month now in Clubhouse. It is the hottest thing happening right now. That's why I'm doing this tutorial. It is growing from leaps and bounds. It is huge. It's like worth uh, over a billion. I don't, don't quote me right now because I'm not looking at my notes, but I will put a link to my Smart Talk show. It's on YouTube under Raya McGarry, Smart Talk uh, Clubhouse. Is it going to be the death of podcasting? And it's not because it's, it helps podcasters. It's great. So I can't teach you everything right now, but I promise I'll keep coming in and being accessible for Clubhouse to answer questions. I might just come in live and 
you know, do a, a Zoom and let y'all just come in and ask me questions about it because it's so worth it. Yes, uh, uh, Sharon, it's worth it, worth it, worth it. If you do it right and do not get sucked down the rabbit hole, like we keep saying, where you're on it for eight to 10 hours and you're not on purpose. So log on on purpose with a purposeful agenda. Sometimes, sure, you can just log on like you're listening to a podcast. That's fine. But don't get sucked in that you're taking away from everything else. But if you use it right, you can collaborate with people that you would have never been able to have a conversation with before. They would have been so untouchable. I literally was talking with Les Brown in that room I just showed you. And he was telling me insights about my business. He got like a inspirational word for me of a title of a book I should write, Les Brown. And then he gave me the lead of a Disney writer who should be writing this book with me. And then he said, DM me at my Instagram. And, and he said, email me. And he gave me the email. I gave everybody the email right there. He just blurted it right out and said, um, email me and I will connect you. You need to be writing this book. And here's the title. Just gave it to me, Les Brown. I mean, what mentors of yours would you love to just talk to you and say, hey, Sharon, I have this for you. You need to do this. I'd love to do that with you. You never know what'll happen. So it's a much more personal place to connect with and have conversations with that's different than anything else out there where people are just showing you pictures, talking at you, cute graphics. It is a conversation. And it's like being, um, it's like the old days. <laughs> My age is going to show. Anybody here, give me a thumbs up. Please don't let me be the oldest one in the room, but if it's okay if I am. Do you remember picking up the old phone that was on the wall in your kitchen back in the day? You picked it up and there was people talking on it. And it wasn't people in your house. And you were, you know, Myrtle and, and, and Penny having this conversation like, hello, hello. Oh, I'm sorry, you're on the phone. It's called a party line. They could have been down the street or in next door neighbors and they're on the phone with somebody else and you pick up the phone and you act, you get in on their conversation. It was a party line and it was hysterical back then. You could listen to people's conversations, so fun. But um, anyway, it's like that. You join a room and it's like, you can just sit back and listen to like I said, the Elon Musk, the Oprah, the Tiffany Haddish, the uh, Ashton Kutcher's, the anybody, I'm just naming celebrities right now, but it could be a celebrity in your industry. It could be um, just anyone. If you're in, in a business, it could be the, the president of your business. So yes, it is so worth it. Do you suggest doing a podcast first? Nope, I don't. I suggest getting on Clubhouse. Now you may not even need a podcast. Podcast talk cost money. Podcast is not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. Jumping on Clubhouse is easy, fun, and free. And I am happy to, at the end of this, if you all want to do a Zoom conversation, I'm happy to do that. I've got some more time today if you want. I'll start a Zoom room for any of you guys who just want to come on and talk with me. Let I'll do that. And I might do that periodically throughout the week too. If anybody just wants to hop on, just pick my brain. The only reason I know about it is because I've, I've been on this and I've been, because I've been loving it. You know, when you love something, it just kind of, you just absorb it all. So I'm just loving it. And I'm learning all this, the tricks. And just when I learn one trick and tip, something else comes along. It's constantly growing because it's still in the beta. So no, you don't have to do a podcast. Get on this. And I would say, get good at this. Give yourself a good month to get your feet wet. Um, moderate with some people. Maybe we can moderate something together. I'm happy to work with some of you newbies that, that I was a newbie. I'm still a newbie, you know, but that one to say, hey, let's monitor a room. We'll pick a hot topic and let's do this. So you get the hang of how it all works. Before you know it, I mean, literally, it won't take long to get the hang of this. And then you can start your own club instead of a podcast. And I only say that because you have not started your podcast yet. For those of you who are in podcasting, great. Keep it up. Cross promote them. Absolutely. So they work hand in hand for sure. But I'd say if you don't have a podcast, do Clubhouse first. It's free. All right. Let me show you a couple of things on here. And I'm watching for your, your questions. Okay, where was? Let me go back to the last last one where I was. Okay, the new club. All right, so there you go. Yes, yeah, start a club. And don't be afraid of this, but do get on and start tooling around and spend several hours on this just to get good. Especially the weekends. There's so much going on the weekends. And Sunday, Clubhouse does what's called a town hall. And you can just go in the hallway. Remember, this will be your hallway. You'll see it when you get in there. It doesn't say hallway, but it'll look like this. And you can scroll up and it'll say Clubhouse Town Hall. And it's Sundays. I forget the times, but go to clubhouserooms.com. We can find out when it is. I think it's like 10 a.m. Eastern, something like that. And the town hall is everything to do with Clubhouse. So get in there, search all the rooms that say Clubhouse updates, Clubhouse tutorials, Clubhouse this. And that's how I learned. I got in the Clubhouse conversation. And you learn all sorts of tips and tricks and do's and don'ts because it's different than other platforms. 
All right, so uh, put the arrow here because this one says Clubhouse updates and that's when I was on. It says there's 194 people in there now and 22 people have the microphone. So you get in the hang of this and at any time I could start a room. It reminds you every five seconds, you can start a room now if you'd like. Now, if you're already in a room, remember you can be tootling around the whole platform and still be listening in on a room and you haven't left yet. And it will show you, that's exactly what I did when I took this picture. I am still was in this Clubhouse room when I took this picture and it still says there's 190 people in there and I could still raise my hand. I could still invite people to it. And this peace sign means peace out, leave quietly. Okay, that's what that's for. Okay, I just don't want to be left out on how things are shifting with online activities in the know, Sharon. Yeah, absolutely. Clubhouse is definitely in the know. Get on Clubhouse. Now get on Clubhouse, join the rooms of the conversation on podcasting. There's a bunch of rooms on po monetizing your podcast, podcasting for the beginners, podcasting tips and techniques, how to be a million dollar podcaster, how to be a influencer in podcasting, a podcasting do's and don'ts. Trust me, you want to be in podcasting? Go to Clubhouse and learn even more about podcasting. Get in those rooms, get the microphone and let people know about your podcast and let people know, I'd love to have you as a guest on my podcast. DM them in their Instagram. I heard you in Clubhouse. I love what you said about this topic. I'd love to invite you as a guest on my podcast. See how that works for podcasting? <laughs> okay. And remember Clubhouse is free. So enjoy it and use it that way. So if you don't want to be left out, Sharon, this is the place not to be left out of. So Clubhouse will be Clubhouse and it's just going to get bigger and bigger for a million downloads a month right now. And that's growing as we're speaking. Okay, over here, I want to turn you on to a social media platform that I've enjoyed that teaches me a lot about social media on all topics. I, I discovered them several years ago on YouTube. And when I search for how to do social media stuff, they always seem to come up in my feed. And I they do very professional videos. You know how you want to do a how-to and you go to YouTube and you get you have to scroll through a bunch, start a bunch because they're not professional. It's like, oh, I can't understand this person because they're talking too fast or whatever. Social media examiner. I love them. Follow them on YouTube. Follow them on here. They've got over 500 members now, I believe. I took this picture and they were just brand, brand new. Um, see how they have 129 members and 28,000 people following. Say you have to have an invite to be a member, but they have 28,000 people following. Social Media Examiner, look them up. I highly recommend them. Their YouTube, their videos are all fantastic. Their groups are so informative, so easy to understand on anything, on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, anything. They are like the experts in the social media industry with very professional videos that I just love. So look them up, follow them. And here they are right here. This is them. And I follow them. They only have 20, they only had 21 members right here when I started following them. And it's the world's largest social media marketing resource. They're just really, really a good place to get more information and search their website for any topic you want on social media. And I love their videos. I'm very picky on who I'm able to watch and learn from. They've got to just be, you know, that excellence and I'm imagery, lighting, the person talking, everything has to just be right for me to really, you know, keep my attention. So I really like them. All right. That's Clubhouse. Ladies and gentlemen, did you learn anything? Did it help? I just want to give you a, a quick walkthrough, how it works, see if any questions and kind of show you the lay of the land. The best thing you can do is jump on. I had no tutorial when I got on. I just jumped on, started feeling my way around and I just joined every room that said Clubhouse learn clubhouse for newbies, clubhouse for beginners. And that's how I learned. And then I got in, started moderating. That's how I learned. People give me the mic. That's how I learned. Just you will learn from the conversation. So get in this room and let's see if you have any questions. Okay, Marie, you got a question. If I want to collaborate on moderating, how do I start? Simple. Like you'd say, hey, Marie, call me. All right, want to moderate a room? Sure, let's moderate a room. But if you want to be strategic, you want to moderate rooms of people that are have a bigger following than you that want to talk about a topic that that is also relevant to you you can get on there just to practice and talk about anything fun you want but if you want to be strategic for business then collaborate people that have your audience you know in profit from being you i always teach you you want the ideal client in your room so instead of just doing any kind of room maria i would collaborate with people that also do cooking shows collaborate with people that also do coaching a uh, female coach, coaches like myself. You know, we could absolutely do a room, we'll absolutely moderate one, and even pull in a few more. You'll notice these rooms have five and six moderators. It's it's great. The more the merrier. Sometimes, as long as we're talking about the same thing in that particular room, you don't want people to chime into your room, and it say it's about you know. 
five minute meals or cooking, baking, whatever. And they come in and we're talking social media. So we want to talk about what the topic is. So all you have to do is make phone calls, direct message people, Facebook message them, anybody you think that you have synergy with that you'd like to have a show. Think of it having a show. You have your own show. Who do you want talking on the show with you? What do you want to talk about? That's where you start. And before you start a club, I would practice that and start a whole bunch of rooms on different things. See which ones you really like, see which ones really resonate with people. And then you can start your club because you'll have a better umbrella title for it. And then you can have all those rooms uh, launching underneath that club name. So Maria, you know, I got you. We'll be talking on Monday night in my prop for being you class. So you can ask me more questions, but yeah, you guys just collaborate, get people. That's what Renee and I did. That's what Nita and I did. Nita writes books, helps people write books in 90 days. And I said, I help my clients know they should have a book. It helps celebritize them, but I don't help them write a book. So it was a perfect um, blend. See how that works? So we did a room, celebritize your business and write your book in 90 days. That was our collaborative room. And we had a great conversation. My publicist came on and it was really good. So I was teaching them why they need to do it and they should do it. And Nita was giving them tips on how to do it. So think about that as like that perfect marriage. And then you might get three or four other people that blend it even, you know, even tighter. So, and the more on there, the more they're bringing their audience, just like any other social media platform. Go with people who know even more people than you do. And we all start bringing all our people together before you know it, you have a big conversation. But remember on Clubhouse, bigger isn't always better. If you have too many people in a room, sometimes people just drop off. They feel lost if the conversation isn't enticing enough. If it's smaller too, people can get the mic. You can give everybody in the room the mic if you want and really have a great conversation. And nobody talks until you tell them, you know, unmute your mic. So it's not a free for all. It's not chaos at all. It's really well done. All right, if y'all want a Zoom link, there's a lot more questions. I'll make sure I do this and answer your questions. We'll be talking Clubhouse for many weeks, months, and years to come, I'm sure. But my suggestion is get on it. And if you have a networking group, like I know we've got eWomen and What Women Want, yes, we should start a club. Yes, our directors could have rooms underneath those, uh, underneath that umbrella, and we could just explode across the world because people are chiming in and listening from all over the world. I mean, there isn't a room I've ever been in that didn't have people from the UK on, people from Australia, people from um, all over. Oh my gosh, I had Ireland, Scotland, London, Paris, Australia, and Alaska, I think it was Alaska, somebody, Alberta, Alberta, Alberta Canada. They were all in this one call. So time zone means nothing. There is no perfect time anymore. Do it for a perfect time for you. And it is fantastic. You're welcome. I hope this was helpful. I'll let you guys get on with your Saturday. I'll leave this up here, no problem. And feel free to private message me if you have a question and put the questions in here as well. But if you don't want to get lost, just private message me and I'm happy to answer any questions and follow me on, on uh, Clubhouse. I'll follow you back and let's do some collaborating. I love you guys. Hope this helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.